Hello, I'm Sabrina. I recently consumed Twilight for the first time in my life, and I feel transported back to my angry emo face, and it is magnificent. So I thought I'd share the experience with you by summarizing Twilight in three minutes or less. Let's do it. Isabella Swan's mom goes on a road trip with a dude named Phil, leaving Bella with her sweet mustache father in the middle of nowhere. To emphasize just how nowhere it is, it's called Knife. Spoon? Fork. And she proves to be the most awkward, breathy, clumsy person ever. And also the tastiest meat snack on the market, especially to this family of incestuous pale adoptees, the Cullens. Which includes pale Cedric Diggory. Bella and Cedric become lab partners, but after the most awkward flirting montage in history, they become lab lovers. But it turns out Cedric Diggory is a vampire, a natural born killer who can read minds and gives intense piggyback rides and glitters in the sun. But Bella isn't phased. Then this early 2000s pop rock group roll in and Nick Jonas wants a swan steak. But the Cullens burn him alive and as you could imagine, burning people alive solves a lot of problems. Next book. Bella is now 18 less pale, a high school senior who is terrified of becoming a senior senior. Other things to be terrified of? The goth squad, who take pull my finger way too seriously. If they know that the Cullens know that Bella knows that vampires are real, that's bad. So the Cullens get the hell out of town, but Bella is like, no, I cannot operate without my boyfriend. So she becomes the emoist and becomes a mechanic with Shark Boy, who, side note, is a frat wolf and thus means he can never wear a shirt and also kills vampires. Okay, anyway, Bella jumps off a cliff and Edward thinks she's dead, so he goes to the goth squad for the sweet release of death because these two idiots think Romeo and Juliet are relationship goals. But Bella hunts him down and they meet in front of the goth squad. This should be really bad, except everyone is so shook because nobody's powers work on Bella, so they just uh, let them go. Oh yeah, and Edward proposes. Next? Bella shuts him down. Now people keep dying in Seattle and they're worried that the goth squad are gonna pop in to see what's up and also wanna make Bella a vampire. Which is also what Bella wants, but who cares what Bella wants? On the other hand, you know who wants Bella, aside from Edward and Jacob, Merida wants Bella dead. So the Cullens and the Frat Wolves team up to protect her. Now those people dying in Seattle, turns out it's Merida's vampire army and they're all coming to Spoon to kill Bella because apparently you need an army to kill the clumsiest person in the world. And they are quickly dealt with. Also, Bella agrees to get married. Next, they get married and get busy. And then Edward was like, oh no, I've destroyed everything. And Bella was like, hell yeah. And Edward was like, we can never do that again. And Jacob was like, don't have sex, because you will get pregnant and die. Because that's right, Bella is pregnant with some monster CGI baby that kills her. But Bella comes back as a vampire and a mom because the modern woman can be anything she wants. Now everybody is freaked out by their CGI baby for good reason. Everybody except for Jacob who sees her and is just like, Bay. Now the goth squad are like, we should probably kill it. But the Cullens gather up their own army and they battle against the goth squad. It was a bloodbath. Faves were dying left and right and psych. It was all a dream. Nobody dies and the goth squad just leaves. That's it. That's the whole series. Nothing happens. So that was Twilight in three minutes or less. If you ever feel like guiltily reliving your scene phase, 10 out of 10 would recommend. If you want to watch more three minutes or less, you can check out the playlist on Snarled. And if you want more of me, you can find me on my YouTube channel at Nerdy and Quirky.